Recently I had a question on how to specify a specific angle on a polyline and get accurate measurements of angles. Here are a couple tips and suggestions to do that. First, let's say we want a 2D style drawing with a couple of specific angles. If I just take my angle measure tool and quickly pick some centers like in this measurement, the angle will be off because of the 3D space. By now you know I like to cheat whenever I have to, so let's do that. One cheat would be to simply use the text string and type in a value instead of the actual value. But here's another technique that will actually give you the real value if you don't know it. Now watch what happens if I scale the geometry in one dimension to make it flat. You see the measurement change to the actual measurement. You can then lock the rotation of the view here in the properties box. I'll just change this to silhouette mode so you can see it better. Now let's say you just want a symbol using some polylines and you'd like to specify the exact angle but don't really want to guess. So here's a little trick for that. Again in orthographic mode I'm just drawing a single straight polyline. I can then hit Control C and Control V to copy paste it on top. Now using my rotate tool I can specify the exact angle I want, say 30 degrees. I can then use the techniques to do whatever I want to the polyline to create a symbol. So check out Tim's podcast on detail view of a detail view. A lot of good tips there. If you reuse symbols a lot, you can save them to a library. Or if you have other drawing programs, you can import them from there. Like the symbol I just made in Adobe Illustrator. The point is, there's always more than one way to skin a cat. I hope I don't get any calls from animal rights activists. It's just a figure of speech. Enjoy. Hope it helps.